Hello everyone and welcome already to episode number three of Verenkiert. No, actually it's the new super which I still have no name. Um, there was one suggestion which is the uh, Yu Zu Zu, um, which is U Z U and then Zu, which I found really cool because it's, it's kind of a new idea and a very simple name at least to write it in the thumbnail. So that's kind of what it is. Um, also, I uh, must mention this poll over here, which I built last time. It's the one Lucky Lucas brought in and that's, the, that's what she said uh, poll, but I put this the wrong way around and I completely ignored it last episode to make sure that, well, you know, you guys don't uh, see that. But still, people people saw that. I mean, uh, who would have guessed that you guys spot this? Like, everyone... Uh, what is that, though? Like, hello? Can I just... Total objects. No, I mean, there was still the S, I, I remember. Okay, so now that should be fine, right? Yay! And today we're actually going to build a, a very nice Bengal tiger habitat. The main reason is, and yes, I know this might be a little bit wrong, uh, because we are really early on. I'm gonna put this pole now here. So this is kind of when you come in here, that's what she said. Yeah, that is nice. Uh, the main reason why I'm doing this today is because there is this um, wonderful challenge at the moment. Uh, let me just quickly do the research. Uh, all right, check, check. Game Turk, say hello. Okay. Um, uh, it's actually Game Teamwork, I should say. I completely made that wrong. Uh, however, um, I want to see that we do everything we can today. Um, thirst is still an issue, which I really don't get why. Um, there seems to be no one working in here. So why is there no vendor? We have so many vendors. Okay, maybe maybe we just employ another one. We are doing good money, so that should be fine. And uh, one more vendor. And people told me to check this uh, area over here. However, I'm quite sure that I did um, do this correctly. So it's the food court or orangutans. Let me just check this quickly again. Okay, so work zones, um, food court. Let's say edit the work zones. So I've got these shops in. I've got the staff room and the staff room. I think that's fine. I think that's fine. That's all fine, I guess. That's no issue at all. So, um, yeah, thank you. And the vet research is nearly completely done, which is awesome. Uh, you will be skipping over to the Bengal tiger. I also did purchase already some Bengal tigers, okay? Um, now, what I will be doing is I will be now uh, putting in walls only, as you can see. So, these are not barriers. These are the actual walls. The main reason why I'm doing this is to save some mechanical costs, or for the, like, costs for the mechanic. Um, and simply because these animals can not jump or climb these walls, which is quite fortunate uh, because otherwise that's kind of weird. Uh, let me just... Oh, I'm in the building, that's why. Okay, God. Um, so another issue about the zoo is it's raining all the time, okay? So while we had snow in the other zoo, it's rained over here. It's like raining the whole freaking time. It's insane. Like I've been, I've been preparing that and... Um, yeah, it's it's been it's been nuts. It's been snowy the whole freaking time. Now, important bit here is that we do make everything. There we go. Every single thing has to be um, just a invisible barrier to make sure that we are really having the benefit of that system. Now, I do want to build a little bit the ruins. I know it is kind of boring to see. Um, because you've seen quite a lot of that. So let me just mention that uh, the kind of ruin thing is gone tomorrow in terms of uh, Yosemite Zoo. You will see a completely different and new approach on the, um, yeah, on a Black Panther habitat. Uh, it's gonna be very cool. Um, you've seen maybe some teasers already on my social media accounts. If not, I highly recommend also my uh, my wonderful Instagram page because there are also some teasers dropping every now and then so in case you want to see this uh, again highly recommend to go over there and just have a little look uh, because that is something that you really would like to see I guess because there I'm most likely posting uh, some images I'm not posting anywhere else and uh, that's the idea about it so in case there is a link in the description as always if you want to go there um, I, I do recommend that as I said but you don't have to obviously as always uh, now I'm just going to do a little bit of a building here before I will do another little cut. Uh, I think I like uh, these cuts quite a bit and uh, so we will do this quite more often now. Um, I'm gonna do a proper roofing on top of here but I'm not going to make a proper roofing here. I'm just going to do a little bit of a temple thing 
We're gonna make this look overgrown and a bit nicer indeed, but this is what I'm going to do in a bit of a time, not time lapse, but like in a, uh, in a little cut here. So this is hopefully then going to look good. And yeah, some people said um, time lapse elements were good, but you know what? I I really don't want to do these time lapse elements for a very simple reason. I don't want to confuse my series, okay? So this is fully on Let's Play and fully on uh, making making a real time uh, experience for you guys. And it's not, it's definitely not about making another time lapse element, even though it's just an element. I want to specifically avoid that because it's it's definitely something I don't want to I don't want to confuse, you know. Uh, that's the that's the basic idea about this. So um, the only thing we are just doing in real life time now is I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a custom um, custom kind of pillar over here before we go on. Um, however, the only thing I want to change prior to this is I want to give this a railing on elevator. There you go. Because I don't want to do the railing myself. I think some of the railings of these paths are looking good, so we're using these ones over here and then. Yeah, after the cut, uh, I will do um, just in a bit. We should be able to see the full habitat already and then go on. And obviously what I want to have from you guys, uh, we talked about this last episode that I'm uh, still in a need of a toilet and some elements around this food court. This will stand because I am pushing out these elements a little bit too quick and don't worry, there will be no no other episode tomorrow and maybe also not on Thursday. So the next franchise will then be on Friday or Saturday or Sunday, I don't know. Uh, but you have some time to deliver some blueprints if you want. But anyways, we are going to we're going to make some pillars work now, okay? So let's say construction. I'm gonna still use the temple pieces because they are pretty cool uh, and also pretty thick, uh, which <laughs> which I like. I, I know Alia will like this too. But um, it's not always about that, yeah, okay? So this time I like them too. So uh, this is what it is. I'm uh, gonna make like a little proper footer down here. Um, so just put that here, another one there, and then just copy that one over. And then uh, let me just let me just do it like this. Um, whoops, I should have just, done. yeah, there you go pillar build and then we just give it also a nice little bit of yeah bro rundown element down here well that's a bit too big i guess but we can we can just do it that way it might look good when we sink it in down down there so it could be nice um and then just uh get these things on top so that we have a bit of a nice pillar element just gonna bring that in like this yeah it can be it can be just like not really properly aligned it can be wobbly that's fine let's say beam it's gonna bring a bit of wood in here too so let's just bring that one in kind of i think it just makes the pillar look a bit more uh designed i don't know it, i think it just looks good let's let's put it that way okay i just think it's good it's looking good nothing else okay that's the custom pillar we need hopefully it's big enough if not we are Oh no, we just need to increase the height significantly, but that's kind of what we can do anyways. Okay, let's see that we bring that into a good position already and then sink that down as much as we need it. Same goes here. There you go. And just let's do another one just here. There we go. It can be a bit in the water anyhow. And then just, yeah, let's do it like this. Right, so that is how that goes. And then we can just adjust these things in terms of height. We're just selecting this, moving it up, moving it up and down, like to say, like a roller coaster. I think we can just leave these things as they are. Whoops, uh, we're not in this build yet. So let's just move this higher up here and then just squeeze that in the middle. Oh, we need another one even. Okay, well, if that's the case, why not? Um, you yeah, know, the wood can stay up that is fine oh wait we need to change again and just move this all the way up so it connects awesome just bring it down and there we go there's some rain because it stopped raining for like five seconds <laughs> awesome um all right let's do the last thing we are in the last thing already all right just bring it up here and just down and another one goes down as well I don't want to have the texture fighting though. There we go. So these are some custom pillars. I think I like them a lot more than with the just with the normal 
normal thing and we might even make like a little roof design on top of here because it's always raining um i guess we're just doing this roof design a bit but i figure we need one water uh, purifier thing here uh, a water treatment so let's just quickly do this because otherwise uh, we are waiting too long so let's do this and we definitely also need a new animal because you can see we are slowly running well we are not running out of money but we're not making too much money even though i'm putting down some stuff that is true but uh yeah okay so i'm gonna do the little break over here so after the break the habitat should be a little bit um you know advanced already in terms of build and then i'm going to talk you through what i did why i did this and also what we will still add so don't worry about this um how long are we into this episode already so 10 ish minutes okay that that's still very very okay um and oops what about that okay i don't know some some weird windows things okay see you in a second all right i did a little bit of work as you can see uh, just a few minutes to be honest it, it looks more than it was but uh, it's kind of easy if you if you start to have uh, certain certain blueprints in place it really starts to shape up now before we put the animal in i am willing to put down some donation boxes and stuff already uh, because i want to be prepared to get the money from the people now you can see we made a little bit of money in in the time being um for whatever reason we cannot put them in uh and bef whoops i need to just uh, go a bit more down uh, so i'm gonna throw them everywhere around here because i feel like we will have a lot of guests uh willing to throw money at us which uh, is a good thing um i i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie if i say that this is not only important but also very nice indeed so i'm gonna put a uh, board here i'm gonna put another board uh in the back here so just where the people will stand eventually and then uh, we will put another one just here even though I think they might not be standing here and then uh, we can also put like a, a speaker right here in the middle onto the tree um, I'm just gonna say now we can already increase the radius though Oh, whatever I, i'm gonna see how the radius will be later but it, sh it should affect the people and not the animals so they are not as stressed and stuff like that so you can see we still need to do a lot of foliage work even though they won't actually love this tree in the habitat so let's just move this one back so it's not in now the habitat is not made yet okay so i do need to still do the fencing but i think in terms of how it integrates it looks actually fairly nice so as soon as we have covered up this ugly mess of a backstage area this first area um for the time being for three episodes looks already pretty solid and i was actually thinking maybe you guys can give me a hint but maybe we can turn that area over here into a peafowl habitat um with the integrated uh, food court actually within this peafowl habitat this could good you know give like a little garden appeal to it and then we can just bring the tour further down into this area so we we start off with a little asian area then i would say um it fits kind of good to the currently running uh, asian uh, competition which is the main reason why i thought i opted for the bengal tiger today um but yeah so um my little thinking behind this okay so we have this little roundabout over here where the people can go in and have a wonderful look to the bengal tigers but still they have some privacy um you can you can look into the different areas where they come from and then you also have um some kind of little bull's eye holes over here I'm, I'm gonna put some enrichment items in this area so that they also spend some time there and yeah this is the the main idea so there's not much done um but now let's just do the uh, habitat because this is what i waited for uh mainly because i want to make sure that i okay we can definitely make this a little longer and also let's rotate the wait okay i want to make sure that we are not like you shouldn't go into the habitat at all uh can i just okay well let's do it that way that way and wait why is this thing now doing that hello are you just just fooling around with me what's going on okay you know i'm gonna put this here then it doesn't matter i just want to go all the way behind there all right so just to make sure that this is at the hello what's going oh god what is that like though i don't know what that is uh today also will be this is so the last episode before i'm gonna change my computer a little bit i got a new ssd hard drive and i'm gonna shift all my games finally onto the ssd uh, i only have a few games on the ssd because it was too small um and the only game being uh, planet coaster as of now i wanted to change this because i think planet zoo might also benefit from being on an ssd as well 
uh, really hope that we can squeeze that little bit of performance out there as well. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm still very happy with the performance, but the likes of Kuali Zoo, for example, is getting a little bit, uh, like, not laggy, but I think I can already foresee that there will be some issues. So I want to be prepared, and that's, uh, that's the main reason why I'm already opting for changing that and I think a fresh installation is never it's never really that big of a deal uh, and also always a, a welcome little thing to do every now and then I think that's kind of a good thing okay so we made this habitat I think it's um, we don't even need to worry about the size uh, it should be yeah yeah this is this is way over the top for them but I think it's kind of good to have a big habitat for them like that um, so they can roam around a little bit and we have a bit of yeah just good and wonderful stuff for them available now uh, we can drop the animals in and then we can just do some binges and benches. I do binches? Bins and benches. Uh, <laughs> so I got two Bengal tigers, I can see. This one is the one we had already from Varen Kiato. So we will bring Nashiket with us in here. Um, he's the one we already had in Varen Kiato. I don't know if he might be too old, so maybe we need to get a new one. But I'm just hoping he's giving us some babies uh, immediately. And then I got a new one from the market, which is... I don't know why it was there, but it was just very cheap indeed. I got it for like 300... Um, conservation credits. I was like, I cannot say no then because a white Bengal tiger with so many good stats. I'm really hoping we are getting some white tiger, uh, white Bengal tiger babies. That would be awesome. Um, now let's just quickly wait until they've been delivered. Uh, during that time, I'm gonna throw in some uh, bins already here. So before the people come and destroy my area here. So that's, uh, it's kind of blah. Why is that the way? Okay, so this is it. And now let's get some some benches over from here. So I'm figuring we can also... Uh, oh, the keeper cannot... Yeah, well, we need to employ a new keeper, obviously. But yeah, we will we will do this in a second. I'm also gonna take care of the habitat in a second. Okay, so we've got some, some bens, uh, benches here. All right. So there are both tigers. Oh, look at that beautiful animal. Honestly, I've never seen a white tiger in this game. Like, actually in-game. I've seen pictures of it, but not in the game. Also, size gene is insane. That is kind of kind of important to note. Okay, let's quickly pause the game, because I'm just not want to risk that it can escape some... It definitely... Ah, oh, that is awesome. Look at that. I put my old... Uh, my, my old ape house in here in terms of uh, making the animal go here. It's a little bit of a shame that it seems to be not able to lie down on this one. Um, okay, maybe we have to check if it does, but um, it's kind of good to know that it can go up here, which is good. Um, maybe we just have to open that a little bit. I, I love to have the treehouse, you know, um, but it seems there is no way it can escape. So that's quite okay. So how does the terrain work? Okay, well, that's too much long grass and too less soil. I didn't know about that. Let's just quickly change it. Um, so first of all, we need to get rid of all the long grass. So as much as we can. I still don't know why these animals hate the long grass. I mean, they are in the jungle, so why would they hate long grass? But anyways, so this is nearly it. We nearly have it. Okay. And now let's get some some soil in here and there just to make sure that they, they have what they want. We can just make some soil down here. Why not? With too much sand. No, sand is still okay. But uh, right, let's put the soil also back here. That should be fine. Also underlie the trees and stuff. God, how much, how much do you want? Okay, it's gonna paint all this. All right, there we go. This is it. So we can just put all the Bengal uh, bamboo to the backside, and then that should be fine. So plants coverage is not good. Brazil nut tree. You don't like that one? I don't care. I I definitely will keep this Brazil nut tree. You you just no. I mean no, just no. Okay, let's keep the game play, and then we are just going to say. Um, okay, no, wait, before we play the game, let me just employ a keeper real quick, because I do want to make sure that we have this set up right, okay? So this is the one, and, well, we need to let him fall down, okay? So, this is your job, mate, and you get a new work zone. This is your habitat, this is your stuff room, this is your stuff room, that's your kitchen for the moment. I think we're gonna need another keeper hut, though. Ah, well, whatever. Uh, and this is going to be the Bengal Tiger. Boom, there we go, that's done. Now you should be fine. And before we give them the plans, I definitely want to make sure that we do have the Bengal 
uh, tiger. I don't know if, yeah, well, that one makes sense. And we're gonna give them a fruit, uh, food, uh, food, food, food thing. I'm gonna put this here, and then um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover this up, I guess, with some stones. It looks. I think it will look better. The vet is just coming and get the animal. Awesome, for whatever reason. I'm gonna put some scent markers down because I want to make these animals go into different places. I don't know if... Okay, it seems I cannot bring that one up here, right? I wonder though why. I'm gonna check this. Maybe maybe we can, maybe we can make this a walkable. That would be awesome. So I'm gonna put this here. And then also you need something to play that comes here. Where's the scratch post? I want to put the... Oh, no, we're going to put the prey sack just here. Okay, so people have something to watch. And I'm going to bring a sprinkler down by the water. So you just go to the water and enjoy the sprinkler. That should be fine. And um, also, I'm going to give you some water to drink. I'm just going to hide this in here because no one likes the pipe. It's going to be hidden away. And you're going to get the scratch post as well. Uh, which I guess would be nice here. Okay, so okay, so this is noise, and now let's just uh, smooth the terrain a little bit because that looks ugly. Great, and then I'm gonna smooth it out over here as well. And now the next thing, construction. We're just gonna go to. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe we can put bamboo down here. I think that's okay. There we go. And now let's just get in and say terrain and we just, just so slightly. Oh no, that's the wrong one. That's the one. Just raise that a little bit. There you go. Okay. It's it's not perfect, but I think it's okay. Now let's smooth it a bit. There you go. And then we're gonna paint this with some soil around. That should be nice indeed. So that's kind of the nice food area where they put the food down uh, in case a burial food station cannot be right. Oh, this is why it's a, a burial food station. That is why they could not get there. Ah, gotcha. Okay, no, that's uh, obviously not the right thing to have. We definitely need to have, I thought, ah, that was the, I remember. So it's the climbable platform I wanted to have. That is the one. Um, there you go. So put that one in. We can actually, yeah, I think that's fine. And if we put the scent marker, yeah, now we can put a scent marker here and we can also put a bedding, right? So gonna give them the leaf bedding. I don't know if they like the leaf bedding, but it's okay. I'm gonna put this down and I hope that this one is able to get there still. Let's see. Um, yeah, it looks good. It looks good. At, at least it seems to be navigable. So I don't know. Okay, maybe we can... Maybe we can do the following. Maybe we can just squeeze this a little bit further to the sides. Oh, well, we can move that with us. This is not a big deal. So let's just make that a bit bigger, okay? And then it, it's kind of an ugly, wobbly looking thing anyhow. So we're gonna just do it that way and just hope that this works. Oops, that was one too much. And now let's check again. That looks already better. I'm not sure if it can go in here. Let's see. No, we cannot move it there. Is the is this the roof that's too low? Because if that's the case, we can just move it a bit more up and just say that these things go down a bit and then these two can move a little bit more to over here. Right, let's see if that makes the thing better. I mean, they, they have quite a huge navigable area anyhow, so yeah, no. Ah, see, that's, that's where it was. And then we can move it here. And does it work? I don't, uh, whoa. Uh, not necessarily. <laughs> okay, so that doesn't work necessarily. Uh, that's a bit of a shame. Mm, we can just try to rotate this one. So make it, make it just push outwards. Okay. And also, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just push this thing a bit back. And then also in the habitat filter, I want to give them a normal bedding. Um, yeah, no, let's, let's use that one and then I'm just going to put this like so. And we could potentially also delete this last, oops, last step. There you go. And hopefully that's better now. I really want them to go there. I really want them to go there. 
it looks okay, but it doesn't really fulfill the need, you know? It's okay. I need to make sure that they can somehow traverse on that. Do I need to put like a roof? Uh, like a solid one? I'm not sure. Like, I mean, I can always try to put the bamboo floor in and just hope that this works. I'm just gonna take the other one because we can repaint this. So do it like that and then just say kind of a brownish tint to it. Yeah, green, brown, whatever you wanna call it. Um, okay, let's, let's check again. Where's the white tiger? There we go. And no, okay. So actually, is that be still because of the roof? I, I just have the feeling it might still be because of the roof. And now let's just see if we can do it that way. I mean, it's starting to look even more ugly now because reasons, I guess. Uh, no, but it doesn't seem like because of the roof. So what exactly is the issue here? Why, why are you not able to get on that one, right? Uh, okay, I'm gonna take another maybe breeze block I don't I don't really know I I just want to know if that works because it does have to okay that doesn't work either now we can just not get on top of that anyhow um, well at least like that it is able to navigate it um, I remember that there is like a stone that works like I don't know if that makes sense to put in here but I remember that this one acts pretty well as traversable area so let's see if that works now yeah okay for whatever reason this seems to work let's see if we can deliver it this time and it does not get beamed away no, that looks good that looks awesome indeed okay i, w I just want to see what the the tiger is doing um okay no i mean okay It's uh, it's okayish, I would say. I, I think I I can say it's okayish, okay? So <laughs> damn. Okay, no, never mind. Uh, habitat. So let's put the bedding in here. Sink it in. Uh, I'm gonna take the the leaf one. There you go. It doesn't matter. I just want them to go there as their bedding, so that they have it as their fulfillment requirement need. So okay, because our guests need some education, I'm gonna put in the Bengal tiger here. God, it's so crowded. It is so damn crowded and it makes us huge money, huge money. Okay, so Bengal Tiger and also here Bengal Tiger and the centerpiece is going to be Bengal Tiger as well. And let me just see if, because that's the that's the idea, you know, you have the perfect uh, sphere now in terms of uh, getting the education rating high. For everyone who's getting close to these animals, they will get the full education boost. I'm gonna just make that even even bigger. So you can really funnel them through nicely. God, it's so crowded in the center. I really hope that this is like not too stressful for the animals. Uh, enrichment, what well, species food enrichment is missing? Okay, uh, don't worry, I'll be on your side. I'll be on your side. Okay, so you're gonna get the, this one, I guess. That's kind of cool. That's, wow, w what the hell? Just got beamed there. Um, and you're gonna get the frozen blood pumpkin as well. I'm definitely gonna deliver this here. And then there is also like a, a little rock coming to be in here. So yeah, we are moving towards the end of today's episode, but uh, I'm just willing to, you know, just end it in style by just having enough foliage work done. I'm gonna put this here. Uh, but yeah, we were about to say that we are need, have a need of going to like grassland tropical. I think it's also temperate and it is the continent of asia so that is i think we can we can just go nuts with all the stuff available in here uh the animals uh, should be able to like that quite a lot so i'm just gonna bring this palm tree in the middle here i know that they will be able to climb it so i'm not sure if they will go in there too often but it's okay i guess so let's just let some some bamboo here and there even though i also would find these things pretty good um, a bit like that, and then you know, Himalayan. No, wait. I I think. Let me just check again. So it is tropical grassland, temperate, tropical temperate grassland. Okay. So that is okay, I guess. Well, I I didn't not expect this, but 
I mean, it's okay. Oh, wait. They do like this one or don't like that one? Because actually from, from the continent wise, they should not like that too much. But if they do like it, we can throw that in. That's well, fine. Okay, so they, at least they don't moan. So uh, that should be fine then. Gonna bring this tree in here as well. And we hope that they just cannot jump from over here. But I still like this tree quite a bit because this one uh, looks pretty decent. Ah, that might not be too clever to put it here. Uh, let me just check. I have the feeling that this will make our dudes... Um, okay, so what about you now? I think it'll make... Oh no, it's not able to jump from over there. So it's the branches are rotated nicely indeed. All right, okay, okay, okay. So how about you? Why are you... So unbox the animal. How old are you, by the way? Are you still able to do just... No! Uh, that means you will not be able to make any babies, right? Um, oh, I, I remember cats can do it. Wait a second. Bengal. Bengal tiger. And species data. So, um, let's see. Age of sexual... Uh, uh, sterility unknown see okay so that means they they can do it what are you doing there oh you you were pooping okay no never mind uh, I would many thing guess things are underpriced yeah that's what I'm taking so let's say 13 and 9 and also I just want to make sure that these animals are getting to mate soon uh, okay we, we nearly have a perfect a perfect welfare uh, I just want to make them mate once because then we should be good to go to you know have that one and whatever but anyways uh have some babies that's what i wanted to say let's get in with some you know bamboo even more bamboo the bamboo makes the habitat look even better like seriously you can just plop that to the back and just make sure that this all looks a bit more natural flowing as you would do like it is actually i think this is one of the most realistic habitats i did in a franchise zoo um because this is how you would potentially do it in real life as well i mean Sure, the backstage area will be quite different um, since that is something you wouldn't do this way. But no, I mean, in fact, uh, that's how you could lay out things. And uh, yeah, it's it's just kind of nice um, with the little with the little pond down here, which, by the way, needs definitely some beautification. It looks very boring and whatever left alone. Just give it a bit more nice appeal. Just having all these water lilies in here just gonna sink a bit of the ash tree in just to make sure that we have a bit more greenery going on in this pond otherwise that looks pretty dull indeed it's just some reed here and there common reed there we go ah, that looks already a lot better right okay and now let's just throw in some some rocks and then we should be fine so since they don't mind too much the rocks, we can we can just work with the tropical rocks where we want. Uh, we could get another one in here. There you go. Just some rock formations. They have so much space. I don't really need to care too much where I place them. Uh, so just just gonna push some of these rocks in. I think yeah. Why not put something in the water like that as well? Just to have a bit nicer elements in the water just some stuff here and there and just throw it in awesome so that should be fine now how are you doing um nutrition okay last meal quality is one habitat temperature what what's what's your issue is it too hot i think it's too hot right yeah yeah just go down in here and that should be fine awesome now that is good uh let me just check and money flow is still okay so i think we can give the animal a great two food already. That should be fine. Now, let's speed up a little bit. I want to see if they do mate. Um, that would be good to see. Now, just look at the money as well. If everything works, the animals just do fine. They seem to be really nice. Um, that's kind of cool. So, how are you doing, by the way? I'm just going to check quickly what the orangutans are doing. Um, oh, at 98%. That is totally fine. It's going to... Have some babies there is also nice. Uh, how's the how's the overall land desirability in here, by the way? Mm. 
Oh wow. Like still, it's, it's some decent space. It's not overly huge now with all the pieces in. So traversable area does make a difference. But yeah, I'm, I'm still a big fan of how this turned out to be. It looks really cool, like the Bengal tiger habitat. Um, with the ruin, I mean, I could have done the ruins a bit better. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely not the best you can do. Um, I'm gonna say hello. Also, I'm gonna get already another Bengal tiger. I, I do know that this might not be too clever, but I, I do need another... Oh my... Okay, so... Is that... Are you just, like, really? That would be too easy, right? Uh, okay, so apparently it was too easy. I'm just gonna leave that in my trade center. Um, just in the case that our other friend uh, is dying first and then... Because I, I'm not necessarily do... Oh! Well, never mind then. You did a good job, mate. You did a really good job. Um, okay, so actually I have to rename this one. Short and sarcastic now. Because she made a wonderful little blueprint we are going to use now. I'm a big fan of this blueprint, even though she was making a bit of fun of it. But there you go, it's the jungle info kiosk. Look at that one. I love it a lot because look at, I mean, it fits in. It fits the style so much. I think we're going to put this in the middle here. Just like so. All right. And then you can see there are some education boards in there and I love it. This is so cool. This is such a simple thing to do. And I think it fits in here right in there. So it's really cool. Um, also, let me just quickly put down one more plant. I think that's like a little palm tree or whatever. So I can put these things on here as well. Yeah, yeah, but I want to have like one one more palm tree. Or maybe we can, we can have that one. Yeah, why not? So here we go. Cool. Okay, guys, that's been it for today's episode. I'm a huge fan of this new uh, uh, habitat. I hope you are too. And I hope that, um, yeah, we will have some... Some more fun in the next upcoming episode. Again, I don't wanna I don't wanna stress you too much, so please keep doing toilet designs and something for food courts, whether it be you know bins or benches or whatever. And as you can see, I'm always happy to integrate this into this uh, play and this is build. And you can see this is how it will turn out. So I'm gonna make my own uh, thing out of it. I'm gonna I'm gonna put my own spin on it. And yeah, I, I really do hope you guys appreciate that. And uh, yeah, let's just say. Um, have a wonderful Tuesday and I'm going to see you in the next one. Until then, have a lot of fun, have a lot of uh, good time and goodbye everyone.